Sure, yeah. That's all about leadership, okay? We don't need you to train a lot on leadership because you all know what leadership is actually is, okay? But still, you can ask me why, Yogesh, why are you here to train us or why are you here to facilitate this particular session? We are over here to just, you know, ignite that particular fire what's in you and to give a different dimension of what are the thoughts we have it and what's actually important as a leader. So on that particular point, we want to, you know, proceed further. So before proceeding further, I would like to say a small story so that everyone in the same context and then proceed further, okay? And this story is not some kind of, you know, a boring kind of thing, it's a very short story. So this story is of a, you know, two monk and a woman. These are very, you know, well-known uh, Buddhist uh, parable which is known as. The story goes like, you know, the monks, the two monks were traveling together, a senior and a junior, okay? It's a senior and a junior was traveling, okay? And then uh, they came to a river, with a very strong current where a young woman was waiting, unable to cross alone, okay? Because the river current was too high so that she was scared to cross the river. She asked the monks if they could help her to cross this particular river. Without the word, the older monks picks her up and crosses her down the other side. As you know, monks owe to that, you know, they are not supposed to touch a woman, but still the younger, you know, the senior monk tries and helps that particular woman. The younger monk joins them across the river and he was shocked that the older monk has broken his promise but doesn't say anything about this because he is a senior. An hour passes as they travel on. It passes two hours, it goes on three hours and four hours. Finally, after four hours, the younger monk couldn't you know, resist himself asking his senior monk that why did he help that particular woman? Because that's, he is broken his promise what he has kept as a monk. The senior monk, you know, replies that I left the woman four hours already. It's already been past four hours and you're still carrying her. Why are you still carrying her in your mind? The story is a reminder is not just to dwell, you know, on the past in a way that interferes with leaving the present moment. I'm glad to have remembered it today. So I'm feeling much better now sharing that particular thoughts that to leave for the present and the moment is very important to us. Priya. Okay, thank you, Yogesh. So, okay, so we heard the story, but what is in the story for you all? Like, why did we have the story for a bunch of MBS? Okay, uh, in today's world, we know the very famous uh, abbreviation of VUCA, which means volatility, uh, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. So now when we are dealing with uh, with such a situation where things are so uncertain, we should not hold things in our mind and like just hold ourselves back because of it. Move on, move past what uh, like what has been troubling you in the past and see what's for you in the present. This is what uh, uh, we would try to convey through the story is that stay in the moment, don't hold on the baggage of things with you as you move ahead because it uh, it will really affect you in your professional career or and that will affect your personal lives as well so uh, when we say vuka this is a, i would say uh, we can take this uh, the learning of vuka from this story that the monk did not hold on to his past ki, okay i did this thing now i have to keep it with my head that i broke the promise he did what he did in that moment uh, whatever he felt was right now he'll deal with the consequences. I personally feel that leaders are the people who take some action and then they deal with the consequences of the same. So that monk took the action of helping that lady and now he would deal with the consequences of the same. Rather than just keep keeping it in his head and just think about it because the younger monk did not take any action but he was thinking about what the other monk did. So he did not do anything rather than overthinking. So. I would suggest, like we would like, like to suggest that let's not overthink things, take the action and then deal with the consequences. I would not say the consequences would always be good or in your favor, but at least you will learn from it. So th this was the moral of the story which we wanted to convey. So, yeah. So now what's are your expectation from this training session, guys? Like, why are you all over here? Unmute and speak, okay? It's not in a chat box. You need to unmute and say your expectation from this training session, okay? 
Okay, you all are here for an hour, right? Like it's uh, Wednesday morning, ten to eleven. Why are you here? You could have done something better than this. Like watch something relaxed from your internships because you all have that also. So when you are here, you must be expecting something. Ki, okay, I'll get this or I'll get that. Just anything. Even you feel ki, okay. I just wanted to relax. That's why I came to this training session. I mean, like it's strictly contradictory, but still. So what did you actually expect uh, and come here? It, is it by force, by pressure, or just to be here, or anything? Because you are really giving us our time, which is very valuable. So we value your time as well. Okay, motivation for better leadership skills. Thank you, Sandhya. Anything else? Come on, guys. It's good morning now. You have to unmute and speak, guys. I can't see you people being so quiet. And I've given such a hype to Priya and, uh, you know, for the vacation <laughs> that MBA people can never be quiet. And you people are so quiet today. So do you want us to pick up the names and ask you people? Come that on. Yeah. Let's, let's not do that. I think they can unmute and answer by themselves. I think when a leader comes, it comes, a leadership comes, it comes with pressures. So for me, this session is all about how leaders handle this pressure. Because as in CR, for the last trimester, I have seen so much pressure. So I want to know how leaders handle this type of pressure. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I don't else? see any more answers here. Is there anyone else who just want to say what they expect from this particular session? This okay, is too quick I to guess come. we can give them some more time to figure out what they're actually expecting and we can go ahead. Yeah, so let's, you know, to make them more active, let's play an activity and then, you know, ask them to share their things and to open up a little. So, yeah, so I hope everyone have, you know, got your uh, activity board ready. We have requested everyone to make this particular table and keep it with you. Is everyone ready with this? Can you please give a thumbs up? Okay. Yes. Uh, is there anyone who needs time to make this one right now? We can give them a minute and then we can start at 10.17. Sure. I again request people to please put on their videos. It's just like looking at someone with a box on their face in a, like, in a physical interaction. So we just see gray screens here. It's not a good uh, like experience. So it'll be really appreciated if you put on your videos. And once you're done having this particular chat, oh. Please put a thumbs up, okay, so that we get to know. Others have already put no issues. The ones I've done right now, can you please, so that we can get confirmation to proceed further? Okay, yeah. Okay, fine then. So let's proceed further, okay? So this is a very simple and fun-loving activity, okay? So this, I hope everyone has this particular chat, the activity board, that's eight on eight of metrics what we have given. So we'll get to into a breakout session where two people are playing this. So it's like how you play your Tic Tac or XOX, right? So I hope everyone could have played an XOX in your school time or even in your college time. So that, uh, you know, now we are playing this game again in a virtual platform. So that let's know what's your experience on this pun, okay? So player one uses X and player two uses the XO. So X is player one and O is used by the player two, okay? So over here, as you all know, you have to get the X or O in a one cross line and to get one point for each person who gets it. Over here, uh, you know, it's just 
X Y Z used to play it for three numbers. Right now you have to play it for four. Okay, like getting X on one single straight line or in a parallel or across or diagonal any of the places ways, you will get one point on getting one scratch. Okay, so if me and Priya are playing, I'll say uh, you know A one is X. That's the player one, and the player two will say B two is O. The player three again. The player one will say again. C1 like that. Okay, that's how you have to communicate in a breakout sessions and you need to play this particular game. So is this game clear for everyone or anyone has any doubt? If you don't understand the game, please let us know. Okay, we'll explain it again. It's very important for that you understand the game and then proceed further. Yeah, a little thumbs up or you want us to explain it again? Yogesh, could you explain this once more quickly? Okay, so it's a very simple game. Player one uses X, player two uses the O, okay? And while playing, we are playing it in a virtual game, okay? We are in the breakout session. Only two people will be in one breakout session. So there are two participants right now. And it's, as you all know that, you know, the chart is given to you already. If you have played your X, Y, X, you'll write X, X, and X so that you get one point, right? That one single line, if you get the X, you'll get one point. So in the same way, you have to get four X's or four O in one single straight line so that you get a point. Yeah. In this particular matrix, you have to play this. And while playing, how are you going to play? Like, it's very difficult, right? We are not in the same place, actually. So virtually, when you play, you'll say that, you know, A1, you will mark that the player one will mark and the player two will also mark in this particular sheet. Okay. And then the other player can also say what his number is like if it is X or O. So if it is O, he can say B2 is O. And if you get X in one single line, one straight line, diagonal, cross, anything, you will get one point on that. Okay. And if the other player if gets the O in a straight line or any of the dimensionals, if he gets it, he'll get one point for that so you have to cross one that's you get a set if it's four you get one point okay one point so is it clear to everyone it's nothing much to worry okay just your fun game to play for you people that's all who got the highest points like can you all say your points unmute and say fast okay someone got more than five is there anyone who got more than eight like individual Did points more than any eight? team anyone? get more than eight lines like collectively so it's like if you made like six lines in your sheet like six complete lines or seven complete lines or five complete lines it's like joining the four uh, crosses of four zeros x or x or something something yeah anyone? was there any team okay please uh, put your numbers in the chat box like how many number of lines were you able to connect uh, Yogesh, can you just open the PPT once? Uh, we yeah. can just start there and then they'll get an idea. Seven all together. Oh my God, that's impressive. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So like this, if anyone has got like this one point, this is one, okay, this getting four on one straight line is one point. Is anyone who has got like the same thing in like, you know, getting eight points? Just count whatever number of lines you have got in your sheet and just put it in the chat box. Okay, four totally. Okay, great. So five. Okay, five in all, okay. Four, good. Yeah, others, you have to be quick. Okay, we are running out of time actually. Please be fast. Okay, Vidhi got just one point. Okay, Karan and Akshit, five, five. Okay, okay, yeah, let's move on to the you know the actual thing yeah. with the game. Okay, so yeah, so right now we'll reveal why this game we played and the other way of actually playing this particular game. Okay, so as you all got X and O. Over here, see, this is the other play the game. Okay, Priya, can you take it on on explaining this? Mm. With the, the yes, yes, okay. So, see, 
uh, we asked you to play the game right and number of lines and count the maximum number of lines. Okay, Priyanka got eight lines. Oh my god, perfect. Okay, so now you will know what uh, we were, we were trying to convey from this from this particular game. Okay, so there are many ways of of playing this game. What usually happens is that once you see the other uh, partner winning, you try to like block their way with your O or with your XO like excess and then you feel like okay if that person is not winning let me uh, just start like hindering their way of winning too this is what we usually like uh, de facto so in this game we you when you have eight by eight um, matrix what we were what we should be trying to do is create a win-win situation and collaborate rather than competing now what you should be doing here is just play your game and let the other person also play it's just like growing together and rather than hindering each other's pace so in that the max you can uh, the, the maximum number of lines you can get is eight which is perfect which priyanka had so eight lines because you are getting an equal footing as the other person so that this is how you create a win-win situation for the for both of you, it's never a win-lose, it's a win-win where the other person is also able to get equal number of lines and both of you are winning together. So see, the people, I'm not saying you have lost, but when you collaborated, you got the eight lines and you made the most of all the resources. Whereas the people who got five or who got uh, uh, like seven is actually good. Uh, what uh, must have left a few boxes empty so those empty boxes or those boxes where you try to block the other person's way went away waste so use the resources that are sufficient for you and leave the rest for others rather than trying to gather everything even if it's not uh, like even if it's of no use to you this is what uh, uh, the main idea behind this game is it's about collaborating rather than competing win-win situation for all the people around you rather than just trying to win all by yourself because in this way you know you made the most out of the resources which is like the all the matrices like all the boxes in in this particular eight by eight matrix so this was the idea and this is how you should go about for team building where you help each other grow and get the team to the top rather than just try you trying to push others back and getting to the top so do you have any questions on this activity? How was your experience on this activity is we would want to know. Like, did you enjoy? Did you like got like did you get bored or something? Please put in the chat box or you can unmute yourself. Yeah, please unmute. Okay, let's one or two people speak because we're running out of time. People speak up, okay? Speak. Okay, Yogesh is like please speak up, people. Speak. Okay, you are on the teacher yoga. I think you gave us a fresh perspective of looking at a very stereotypical situation. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, another person. This was Ronit, right? Ronit. Who spoke just now? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Others, John, Ashish. Okay, do you all agree with what Ron had said? Just give a uh, like a thumbs up or something. Oh, nice. You all are ready with the reactions and not telling okay. you. Okay. <laughs> It's all right. At least we know they are in the session. So that's good to know. Thank you people for staying with us for 41 minutes now. We can go ahead, Yogesh. So with the motivation part, do we have time? Okay. To... Someone has put. Okay. So go ahead, Yogesh. Yes, Paul. Yeah. Um, so I hope everyone are in your work room right now, and we all know that you know the good balance between personal life and work is something which is known as healthy for all of us. And you know it's how messed up it is actually right now. 
So what do you have in your personal workplace right now that gives you energy? Okay, what keeps you going? And a picture maybe or any object or which you could have every time with you. Show it in front of the camera and tell us, tell others about it. Okay, like maximum one or two sentences about it. Or like what is what it is? How it does? How does it energizes you? A great and a quick, you know, sidestep for longer meeting. For this is what we are planning it. Okay, so yeah, anyone who wants to start, take an object which is in your workplace, and say about it. How does it, you know, motivates you, and why does it motivates you? Okay. Can I start? Because I'm really excited for this game. Like this is one like I sure. should want to play. Can I start? Okay, thank you. Okay, yes. so how we'll go about this game is I will first say like what is my motivation and then I'll nominate the next person. The next person says that like says like talks about that particular thing in very, very short words, and then they nominate the next person. It can be any person. So people please don't be shy and like just talk, just speak. Uh, I would say we are not going to go out and make fun of you because we don't know each other after here, right? So let's just be in the session and be present in this session rather than thinking about, okay, what will Priya say when, when she goes out? I will say nice things about you all, don't worry. Okay, so for me, my motivation is this my like notepad and I have like three notepads for this particular session, like like written all over here, okay, what we have to do, what activities should be done. So this is like my motivator. It really like keeps me going. Okay, I can do this thing, this this thing. So it really like makes my clear head, my head clear. <clears throat> so this is my motivator, and I nominate. Okay, I have the names Vidhi. Oh, Vidhi, you are not audible for some reason. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, we can go ahead with the next person and then we can get back to Nidhi. Uh, sorry, Vidhi. I'm so sorry. Okay, Marlin. <laughs> she, she just uh, picked up. I something. have like a <laughs> bottle of water which keeps me energized and going throughout the day. Okay, thank you. Please nominate the next person. Uh, I nominate Ronit. Okay, so I have this notebook. So I have this very bad habit of, you know, scribbling on the back pages. So every time I sit for a session, I kind of, you know, write stuff down uh, before the session. And the, I start from the back. I don't start from the front. So it's like a weird habit. You know, I start from scribbling and then it goes on like this. So it's this notebook. That's nice. I don't know if you have to uh, nominate a next Yeah, I, I would nominate uh, John. Nomination on it. Uh, so, what keeps me going? Uh, it's like Merlin said, I have a cup of uh, hot water which I keep drinking, which keeps me going throughout the day. And you know, every time it comes less, I have to you know uh, take a take a small break to you know go fill it up with some hot water. So you know, it keeps me moving and uh, you know focused uh, throughout. Uh, I nominate uh, Kevin. Yeah. Thank you, John, for that. Um. Okay, um, so I have a Bible with me, and that is my motivator. That should be enough said, actually. Keeps me going through any situation, keeps me going through any anything, anything, and this is my answer to it. Um, so I nominate Bayad. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Uh, so I have a skipping rope in front of me, which motivates me that how it is important or uh, to make a balance between the uh, health and study life. That's it. I will dominate Ashish. So I will tell like my mobile phone motivates me every time because it gives me alarm like you have a session after 10 minutes so you have to join the session or else if any work is pending then also it's reminding like you have to submit this work by 7 o'clock. So that's it. I will nominate Stella. So basically uh, I use my phone 
sticky pads I have. So I uh, use it and I put down all the notes and uh, not only notes, I just uh, write down the motive of my day and just pick out whatever is done. And uh, that it's, it's very useful at the end of the day. Uh, can you nominate another person? Who will okay, do? I'll nominate uh, Arthak. Well, what motivates me is this junk food. Like I, I keep on eating something and something while doing my work and some other important work. Next, I will nominate Tinel. So what uh, motivates me is this is a notebook that I've had for many, many years now. And uh, I used to never be someone who's very organized, but then I write all my to-do lists and everything here. And another thing would be there's this stash of pens and all that, that I have. So if I have a lot of colorful pens and highlighters and everything, it helps me. It motivates me to make to-do lists, which motivates me to do tasks. So yeah. <laughs> I would nominate um, Vaishnav. I think Vaishnav mic wasn't working. Vaishnav, are you? Then I would nominate Adi. Yeah. Adi. Uh, what motivates me is uh, whenever I usually do work, and next next to me, I usually tend to have a cup of tea with me. So that's it. So how many one last person, okay? Uh Nitishri. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Ali. So here I have my uh, planner with me. So this always keeps me motivated. You know the fact that you have so many things to do in a day and you keep writing it and you look after you after you're done you keep picking it. So that's kind of really exciting for me. So, yeah. so, and I would nominate Shambhavi. I think like everyone said, my motivator is my phone, the old Samsung notes. And I think the best part is when you get to strike down all the to-do lists that you have done. Yeah. Do I have to nominate anyone? Uh, no, we'll proceed further with that thing. Okay. Like, oh, there was one who was, you know, was not able to speak in the beginning. Uh, Vidhi, was it Vidhi? Yeah, Vidhi, are you able to speak now? Like, unmute. Uh, is it only for me or for others? Are you able to hear? Okay. Well, you put it in the chat box, okay? We want to hear from you. Put it in the chat box. Type it and put it, okay? Oh, yeah, she's, okay. That's yeah. beautiful. Okay, I she did. has. Saraswati ji, right? Uh, okay, as her motivation, okay, that is so good. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And like her motivation to share this with us is motivating me to be like Vidhi. Okay, thank you so much Vidhi. So Vidhi has her motivation as Saraswati ji. She is the goddess of knowledge in, in Hindu mythology. So thank you Vidhi for sharing that. Okay. So on moving on with the, you know, as we have time constraints, so let me go why we did this particular activity, okay? Because we all have been connected virtually over here. We don't know each other's being past one year. It's been so virtual so that, you know, we are not completely known to each other's. And how are we still functioning while organizing events or any other activities in the department, okay? So the reason behind this activity was to understand the importance of motivation, okay? As leaders, as you all are, we should keep an open perspective on human nature, knowing different needs and perspective of each member will certainly make the decision making process easier. Okay. Maybe when you go as an you know management as a manager, or when you go as you know as an employee, both of us as an employee, as a manager, we all have to, you know, have the leadership and the motivational traits within us. That's one of the great things which we have to have it. Okay. So one which I can say from my experience of motivation is. PK is the Pravin Gana Chair of Leadership, which motivated to me to, you know, to come and facilitate this particular training session. So that's one motivation factor to me as well. 
and with this motivation one key thing which we all have to learn is you know the communication because communication is a powerful tool that you know leadership can use to create an environment that's bring a greater motivation among our peer groups maybe during our various activities the sessions and the program which we all conduct in our departments so we need to work on our communication in such a way that you know the relationship has to be built in that particular communication itself because relationship builds the real motivation and it's much easier to motivate someone if you know them and they know you as well and that's when you build a level of trust within yourself and with the other person over there and you know the actual reality goes you know like after all if you don't have the time to get to know the other person whom you are working for or no you know how you can really ever truly know the best way to lead or coach them or motivate to do something and for that matter you know it's that how can you even expect to trust a person or follow if they don't even know you as well so it's very important for us to you know keep everyone motivated and also to communicate what exactly has to be done okay and remember one uh, you know thing which says you know famous things which is of you know to become an efficient leader you must always be self motivated and you must know your identity your needs and you must have a strong urge to do anything to achieve your goals and once you are self motivated only then you can motivate others to achieve their goals and to harmonize the personal goals and to you know achieve the common goals which has to be done for the department or the organization as a whole okay and leadership is all about being yourself and to experience the reality so yeah that was our you know aim to you know get for you people on this particular activity so i would uh, ask samson and rashi ma'am yes hi yogesh yes ma'am the platform is for you now Okay, okay. We didn't wanted to have our time because you all are going superb. So uh, just wanted to end up with you know asking one question which comes in my mind. I prepared something else, but something else is coming here as leaders. So what is motivation, guys? Uh, what do you mean by motivation? You know, unmute and speak whatever language you want to speak Hindi, English, Marathi. or you know whatever language just tell me what is motivation quickly we don't have time um shambhavi is it shambhavi okay can you tell me what is motivation for you to put it in simple words anything that would want me to keep doing a task even if i want to give up multiple times exactly oh my god you hit the right word anything and everything okay anything and everything which keeps me moving is my motivation okay and every day my motivation can change every day like for example if it is a dull day outside i get up it's rainy it's very gloomy i don't want to get up from my bed i just want to be in my you know small little bed and you know enjoy my comfort but how will i get motivated to get up if my i hear my mother cooking aloo ka paratha or samosa or you know something favorite of mine and she's preparing something there and i get motivated to get up from my bed even if the weather is not saying yes to me even if my mood is saying yes no to me so motivation is something which keeps me moving is very simple right so for example if i uh, yogi said pkcl is his motivation you know which keeps him moving right so every day we giving him some or the other task and he is like ma'am and sir i am i don't have time at all you know we don't give him time at all to sleep also maybe you know he is motivated he is moving he is moving in his life and in the same way he is learning also in his life so something which is very simple is motivation don't make it too hard for you all guys anything and everything which keeps me moving is motivation now coming to leaders okay uh, leaders for us you know when we come to pravin kenne chair of leadership leaders for us is everybody not only priya and yogesh okay and each and every student is a leader and why are they leader is because leadership is something which comes from within it is not your certificate it is not your degree it is not your diploma 
okay it is not your doctorate leadership is within so when it comes to be you know uh, when you are a leader from within you stand anywhere and everywhere and you are a leader right for example if i am standing outside the campus gate and waiting for a cab i am a leader how am i waiting there am i doing you know some chit chat or am i helping someone or i am doing some you know contribution towards the campus or anything whatever i am doing i am doing from a leadership perspective i am a leader within so leadership is something on that so guys i know you all are leaders here nobody has to take a special course or special degree here to be leaders right we all are leaders anybody here who feels that he is not a leader anybody don't worry when the question was asked to me first time i wrote that i am not a leader okay? so i am just asking you all you know anybody here somebody wrote it something in the chat box yogesh okay yeah. anaga wrote it anaga okay. 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 okay okay yeah yeah we we yeah motivated anybody here guys who feels that you know i i i don't know but i remember priya saying that i am not a leader in the first few sessions when she joined pravin can a chair of leadership and today today she is like you know superb the way she is growing as a leader so anybody feels that he is he or she is not a leader guys just don't listen to anybody just listen to your heart which says you are a leader you know the way you sit down there the way you are attending the session right now your facial expression the way you smile and encourage each other okay the way you just participated in this activities here the way you responded to the facilitators everything shows and proves that you are a leader okay there is no big things to be proved to be a leader you can do small little things and say that i am a leader okay and start from there we don't know eventually in 6 months or 1 month or 2 years you will be like a you know a big leader a celebrity papers you know in paper you will see yogesh in paper you will see uh, mr john mr ashish coming up and doing such big things stella coming up and doing some big things because you started slowly you started in a very small way so yeah so sam is there anything you want to say because we yeah sam, please go ahead sam we want to listen to you um first and foremost uh, nisha ma'am marina ma'am and all of the students here i've just been blessed to hear from you rashi thank you for sharing this i don't have anything to say except that uh, the students uh, i mean our facilitators priya and yogesh have beautifully laid out for you um, a structure of what leadership is and how you motivate yourself and others but i leave this caption with you because captions inspire me motivate me you're all into business mba finance so i'm going to use this word business because that's what is one of our standing leadership is everybody's business right uh, many often we think those in positions whether it's club heads class reps usc members dean of council members or me as the aftercare director and igm or whatever are the one who are designated leaders and we can easily miss out on this beautiful slogan that leadership is everybody's business because for me to accomplish my tasks i need my team who are not leaders and if i'm just going to keep them as followers then they will wait for me to tell them to do something and they will do and they will come back to me and say okay sir tell me again what i don't what i want to do is draw them away from that thinking to say how can we collaborate i'm using the words these guys beautifully use how can we collaborate how can they support how can they move the initiative as if they were also leaders and that is why i want to lead this leadership really is everybody's business if you go with that mindset as a club head and trust me you'll be able to motivate yourself and your team with those thoughts i know that i have here in this forum 26 leaders who can be huge influence in whatever you call to do in your role so wish you all the best thank you priya and yogesh and thank you to each of you thank you marina ma'am for this session thank oh, you guys so yeah so guys um, you know leadership is you know as sir actually said you know it's not that it's it is actually for everyone's business and it can be just you know explained or trained for you in just one hour okay so please keep that in mind so 
yeah so moving ahead with that activity is okay we will you know we can't assure you but yet if it's on other training session or other batches we'll you know for sure come again and you know train more on the leadership aspects today's aspect we just thought about the leadership and you know the team building as well as the motivation part ahead if it's given an opportunity we'll explore more you know on that particular part so now i want you all to do a favor okay so what's the new perspective of leadership are you gained right now okay with this particular session what's something which you all learned that's what i want you all to do please go to the mentee meetup click on the link put the code and give what's the new perspective you have got it please be quick and once you are done please give an uh, thumbs up okay while while they do the mentimeter could i request everybody i mean hey don't feel shy it doesn't matter we all we all know that you're at home right i have my dog right here and he could walk in any moment switch your cameras on we'd like to take a picture please it's our memory of you right we can even circulate it have your gift circulate it in your own group right let's create memories that's also important so don't feel shy nobody's going to judge you i promise you could wear a t-shirt and that's fine don't worry, all right? Please, trust me, we won't judge anybody here. All right? We'll request Mary and ma'am just for today not to, all right? So please, yeah. I don't want to miss out any of you. That's the, that's the idea. Yogesh, if you can do a screenshot, that might be better. Yes, yeah. sir. I've taken it, sir. Yeah, and, and just everybody, please, page two, yeah. Don't be shy, guys. You guys are looking handsome and beautiful that's that's just true all right yeah thank you so much for indulging means a lot thank you thanks Agish. thank you sir yes keep it going guys i can see you know the word cloud getting bigger and bigger i just don't want to you know provoke your thoughts on seeing some other person's idea that i'm not presenting it so you all can go to the mentimeter once you're done with the mentimeter there is a short feedback form so please do fill the feedback form, okay? And by the time, does anyone want to say something about this particular session? The platform is for you all, okay? Please unmute your mic, say what the new perspective you learned, or was it too funny or was it too bad? Whatever it is, you can unmute your mic and say it over here. We are not judging anyone. We respect each other, and that's very important for us to know as well. So yeah, please unmute your mic and speak, okay? Yeah. Now I feel the level of my class teacher when the class doesn't speak anything. Yes, Yogesh, happy to know that one student is realizing it. <laughs> Do you guys have a class after this? Yes, no, maybe. It's 11 5. Nisha, ma'am, is it fine that we take five minutes, like, you know, uh, five minutes extra is already done? Two, three oh, minutes? Okay. Yeah, yeah, please, please. Sure. Thank, Thank you. Guys, please unmute and speak, okay? Say what you learned. Was it too bad? Was it too good? You can say that, Yogesh, you're too bad, Yogesh. If you're not good to do this, please say that, okay? Or say whatever you feel. Or, Yogesh, we didn't see you like this in classes also. Okay? So, yeah, please speak, okay? So that we can get to know. Uh, I think the session was good. Uh, because uh, because uh, we had the activities and it was well connected to good uh, aspects of leadership. So it was good. Thanks a lot, Merlin. You nominate another person right now okay, so that they can start speaking. And you nominate a person who doesn't know okay, in this particular group. So do you know any everyone?
Stella. Okay, great. Uh, the session was good. It was very interactive, and that's what I think was the major contributing factor of this being so important. And it was a, it it showed us a good way of looking, uh, leadership and uh, motivation from a different perspective. Now I have to nominate someone. Uh, Ramesh. So Yogesh, uh, it was good actually, and uh, the best part is like the motivational uh, factors. Uh, that was that was comedy too, and many of them are showing their foods, coffee mugs, and that was good to hear. That's all, and I nominate Anaga to speak. Uh, the session was very informative and fun at the same time. So the first activity was really fun and we also got to learn a very different perspective of leadership. So I would like to thank all the coordinators. And if I should nominate someone next, then I think uh, that will be Balaji. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, it was a wonderful session. I mean, Playing tic tac toe online, you never ever expect that. I I enjoyed a lot, but I couldn't win. That's one. But the important thing that I learned was, yeah, like you mentioned, it's not about uh, one person winning. It's about collective and making everybody having everybody on the same page. Yeah, yeah, it was overall a wonderful session. So should I nominate someone? Yes. Ashish? Yeah, I think it was a good session because it reminded me of my old school days spinning, uh, like playing cross and like we speak about like what are our motivators and all. So it was a good session. I would like to nominate Pushma. I think the session was good. The most important thing uh, is that we get to know each other because it, till now it was only on WhatsApp. We, we guys were interacting. So today we got to know so many new people and about leadership, we got to know a new perspective, how leadership can be taken with each other. It's not about a person alone. It should be about how we together we can go further with our goal. So yeah, that's it. Uh, and I want to nominate Kevin. Yeah, like uh, everybody has said, this whole um, you know the leadership thing has brought about a fresh perspective to all of us. And I personally, I like that one part where we had to show something that motivated us, and then that really puts that thought into your head: what really motivates me, and do I have that around me at all times, at least when I'm working? So uh, that was something that I, I really liked and the overall session also is really good so kudos to you guys in the facilitators are really helpful yogesh especially so yeah i would like to nominate uh ron it yeah everyone has pretty much said what i wanted to say like it's given us a fresher perspective and i understood the importance of collaboration and leadership and like you guys have done a great job it was pretty informative and interactive at the same time so it's worth the time that we invested thank you and i would like to nominate um Sarthak. well the session was quite fun and a new experience for me and it is for all of us and looking forward for such more sessions in the future also also so um, next i would like to nominate sandhya Um, Sandhya's put in a chat box because the mic is not working. Or is there anyone else who is left? We want to hear your voice, okay? 
tunnel is tunnel done yeah so actually if i'm being honest i didn't know what would it should be i knew that it's a leadership Thought would be like a workshop. We have no idea coming into this. What these plans? Uh, it was really fun. Would you like to? Would we couldn't really hear you? Okay. So coming into the session, yeah, I didn't you. really know what to. So I did. to know what to expect but it was a pleasant surprise since there are less amount of people i think that helped in making it more interactive and we could feel more comfortable talking to each other so it was really good thank you so much um i think everyone are done or yeah yeah so Taking a two more minutes time, Priya, are you gonna say about PKCL so that? Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, so I just want to tell you all that Yogesh and I hail from Praveen Kanachai on leadership. So what is it all about? It it teaches us the very basic and like fundamental thing that leadership is everyone's business, as Hamsar already said. And we focus on latent leaders. That means I can be a leader, and you also can be a leader. and how is by helping each other by having conversations the the very uh, reason that i'm talking so much is because i've been talking a lot for the past one year to my peer group and the community that i engage with and this is how we learn because if i have a problem i come to the session i share about my problems and the people who are around me in pkcl they help me find a solution they like question me and the very uh, uh, very important aspect here to be a leader is Oh, okay i should stop using this word uh, because it's too much now but empathy so until until and unless you don't empathize with the other person you will not really be able to understand what they are going through so uh, please whenever you are talking to your peers please give them the benefit of doubt because you are talking like you have been only knowing each other virtually empathize and see where they are trying to come from and if you are not able to understand please ask them can you or like tell me where you're coming from because it uh, helps know the other person that they actually that you actually want to listen to them and you want to understand what they are going through because i personally feel you can be a leader only by helping the people around you to bring out their own best potential and try doing this you will actually feel really good about yourself and uh, uh what we actually do is by having these friday sessions where we meet for one and a, one and a half hour and talk to each other interact we share our leadership journeys Le leadership journey doesn't mean you went to mount everest it's a very uh, it's a very simple thing like you help someone or you had a friend who like could not clear a cia so how you held them accountable and like help them study or very simple things uh, like you help your mother or something so these are very small things you don't really have to go out and just say you okay i am tensing you don't have to do that it's very simple and just uh, try looking out for things where you can help people and i think that would be your first step towards leadership we are not really here you to teach leadership we are here for you to motivate yourselves to explore the leader within you this is all so this is what we do at pkcl very very profoundly so yeah that's all about uh our chat our leadership chat